Welcome back, uh, episode four. So I got the motor swapped out. I wasn't gonna bore you with the details. It took me about 45 minutes. Take the motor that was in this one out and put it, it in this one. So it's in there. I don't have a kill switch, but this chassis never did. Uh, just one brake. The tires hold air very well. Um, so I will fire this up on the next episode. I just wanted to show you. And I'll show you something else. The other engine on here had a seven tooth front. This one's got a six. And just doing that, it's now totally loose, which is an easy fix. You just gotta move the rear wheel back a little. Cause there's only a right and left adjustment on the motor here, on the plate. Um, bought this pipe brand new. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's right there. They forgot to weld that little spot. And this pipe was leaking the fuel slash, well, burnt fuel, mostly oil, all over the chassis and my leg and stuff. Um, but whatever. I might pull it off and have my buddy weld it. So that's the bike. That brake works awesome. This has been my bike for breaking in engines. But I think I'm just going to sell this one as is. Running, of course. Um, but this engine, uh, I'm going to run it like this. Top speed will probably be down because of that tooth. Um, but I'm going to put a carbon fiber reed. No, fiberglass reed. My carbon fiber one's going in a different engine. Um, but I want to see what the difference is. I've never actually put a reed in any of these engines yet. Pipe's not very old. <clears throat> Brand new gas tank, fuel filter, fuel lines. Same ones I was running on the practice frame. This thing was a pain in the butt. Didn't want to fit right. So I actually have a bolt through with a lock washer and then lock on this side. And same with the bottom. I got nuts on each and backs, both sides of that piece. It works. It holds it at least. I don't know if you can see my shoe. Grind it off a little bit with this particular bike, actually. So, all right. So next time I will run it because it's a little crappy. It's about 30 degrees, snowy. So it actually might be a little while before I run this thing uh, when it starts getting warmer because it's going to be about 10 degrees here coming up. Um, so yeah, I'll keep working on the mini bike project, show you guys that. Um, that one I'll actually run around here just because it's bigger and taller. This one I usually run on the sidewalks or the street and it's wet and crappy. Not to mention this is a two stroke and the mini bike is a four stroke. So uh, stay tuned guys. Hope you like the videos. Comment. If there's something you'd like to see that you didn't see that I didn't get to show you or whatever. I mean mounting the motor is easy. Four, four little bolts. Just make sure you put lock washers on, which I did this time, not like I did on the practice chassis. You know, I didn't want to bore you with the details, plus there's a crap ton of videos about mounting these motors up and stuff. So I just kind of want to show you my projects and uh, how these things go. All right, guys. Thanks.